welcome back to the channel and welcome back to 2020 a whole new year of new videos i did mention this in the last video that this is going to be a little project that we're going to start doing as soon as possible i've come over now literally to make a list of everything the car needs i do know that it has got a couple of faults the guy told me it failed an mot but i don't believe that it actually went for an MOT it must have been a pre-MOT or it was aborted because I've done an MOT history check you're welcome to do one yourself I know that people do like to do that and it hasn't failed an MOT there's no failure on there and it would be on there I've been around it a little bit and noticed that the a couple of the tires are low and this would be our main issue here it's got some rot in the seal so we're going to be grinding that, sorry, I have my phone pointing on the floor there. We're going to be grinding that out, putting a plate in there. As you can see from there, it is all textured. So I'll have to try and blend that the best I can. I'm going to be doing it myself. And then obviously that textured bit is not going to be a problem at all because you're never going to see that once it's retextured. It has got a few little marks and dings in it here, but hopefully most of that comes out. On May, because it comes the... Um, wheel arch comes to there and the same the other side what i'll probably do is paint the whole seal it has got a little tiny scab on it there at the front so it would be nice to just completely do that seal and make sure it's solid forevermore i can't exactly remember what tire it is that's low but if you do remember the little bmw one series that we put a new set of wheels on actually had four brand new tires now i never use those tires for anything and I'll give the wheels to my friend for scrap, but said to him, I must have the tyres back. So guys, it probably would have cost me 20 quid to get those tyres taken off anyway. So it really wasn't worth me doing the scrap part of it myself. So I gave them to him and he'll be doing that. It does need a really good clean and a valet. And I have not checked the roof. So I'm going to be doing that in a moment. I know that this window regulator, I'll put the windows down when I was driving. And I could see a piece of cardboard in there and this was clicking. Well, I've just been on eBay and seen that they do a repair kit for both back windows. So that must be quite a common problem. So we'll be doing the windows, doing that seal. Wing mirror glass, again, sorry. I was driving it home and I tried adjusting the mirror and the glass actually flew off. I had the window open and I heard it smashing the road. But I was doing 60 mile an hour and it was a dual carriageway. We got a few little scabs and bits and pieces on the back bumper so we'll be taking it out of the paint shop to get that done again there's a bit there i paid 200 pound for this car so there is a little bit of room in it to have some little jobs and bits of paint work done little bits like this will polish out it does need a good mop up again on this seal there's no rust but quite a few scratches so maybe i'll repair that seal get them to paint the uh, back bumper and just blow both seals in because you're never going to notice them that's the tire there that's low so again we've got those four brand new bmw 16 inch tires i may have to put all four on because i believe these are 55s and the bmw ones are 50s it's not going to make any difference these cars do come with the 50 profile as well so I'll be quite happy to put all four of those on there. Right, let's get it unlocked. You have to press that twice. So it does need a good valet and a good tidy out. But all in all, there's no rips in it or anything like that. And we are going to actually have a couple of pieces of content created, created sorry, from this one car not just based on this car going to be based on another vehicle as well as usual guys sorry why i'm waffling on let me know what you think of this little project in the comment section i'm going to be checking the roof in a minute i'll try and do that on camera but i'm not sure it's going to work he's done ninety-six thousand miles and starts up on the boat and does sound very nice Right, guys, what I was talking about... Sorry, I had to speak up again then because I started the car up with the radio on. Um, two pieces of content, I was saying. When I was driving this car, it was dark. 
and I never noticed that. Quite a lot of you know what that is straight away when you're looking at it, but I never noticed it. So I opened the glove box, started going through it, and I thought, oh, what's that? Kept going through the rest of it, and then I found that, and I was like, that's a camera. What's the camera for? And then the wires and all the paperwork's in there. And then I realized it's a screen with, just gonna press home, it's got sat nav on it and Bluetooth and it is connecting to my phone. So we will be taking this out, putting an ordinary stereo in it and actually fitting this in my truck. Let me know what you think of that. I think it's an absolutely brilliant idea. This car doesn't need that screen in it, but that really would come in handy in my truck. I'm just gonna pause there because just in case it's connected to the radio, I forgot to turn the Bluetooth off. I might be speaking away and there's no sound. I won't stand out here too long because it is quite noisy with an engine running, even though it's very, very quiet. So it is the little 1.6 petrol and it does sound really, really nice actually. And just looking down there, I think it's, like it's quite obvious to even the untrained eye it has been looked after there's quite a fairly new oil filter on there very very clean and they really don't take that long to get grubby so it is quite nice inside everything looks clean all the water's got its antifreeze in it it's on the maximum mark the engine's ticking over lovely obviously somebody's jump started it and forgot to put the cover back on but yeah, it does look all there, all together. Like I said, it has got a few marks around it. One of the lights is not working there. The side lights, I've just turned them on. I'm not sure if that's, that's probably quite a nasty scratch in the window there. I will get as much of it out as I can. But if you just see there, the roof on it was so fast, I couldn't believe it. It's got to be one of the fastest soft tops I've ever put down. Unfortunately, because it folds right down here, it actually hangs off the back and it doesn't affect the back windows. I'm sure they are supposed to open, but it didn't actually take, didn't actually make a blind bit of notice. So I'll just literally turn that. I'm not sure if it'll do it with the door open, but push the little button. And it was that fast. Quite a pretty little car, really. See, the roof hangs off the back quite far. Obviously, it doesn't have a cover over it. Possibly they do do one. All the number plate lights are working. Yeah, so it looks like it's just those little bits. And obviously, I can't sell this car like that with that window like that. I'll have to do them. And like I said, I did just look on eBay and I actually do a repair kit and it's only £20 for both sides. I was just looking at that little cap there. This is the same as what was on the Ferrari that finishes it and it broke and it cost nearly £200. But I bought an aluminium one for 100 So we give £200 for the car and this was actually in part exchange for the 14 Reg Fiat 500. So I took this car in part exchange for that. Somebody uh, purchased it for their daughter and this is a car that she'd already uh, bought for herself before she'd passed her test. So all in all, I think it's a good little car, a good little base to start with. We get some tires on it, we get the seal welded up. That's probably gonna be the first thing. I'll get it in tomorrow, we do a video on it. We get that all ground off, we get a plate in there, we get it all filled up, or if you're American, bondoed, and we get that all tidy. It doesn't even matter if it's just in primer. We get a couple of tires on it, a light bulb, and we get this car MOT'd. At least that way, between jobs that we're doing on it, I can actually run around in it and use it. But let me know what you think about my idea on the radio. Should I leave that in there or should I fit it in the recovery truck? Because in the recovery truck, I haven't actually got, just watching that little screen up there. Very, very fast roof. In the recovery truck, I haven't actually got a Bluetooth hands-free or a sat nav i have to use my phone all the time so i think it's quite discreet as well 
and it's quite a nice little thing and it's got the memory card slot and it's also got the usb slot so i think that that would be a good idea let me know what you think of this little car let me know if you think it was a bargain i think it was I've pretty much given the guy what he wanted for it. I'm sure that there's a bit of a profit in it. I would like to think once it's all done, we would earn a nice sort of day's money each out of it, me and Chris. So I won't carry on going on about the little car no more. I just wanted to give you all an update straight away today. It's the 2nd of January. I wanted to let you know that this was the car I was on about. So quite a lot of you didn't know about it. And we'll be getting on with this as soon as we can. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. we got a lot of projects and some big projects coming this year. Follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds. Check out the merch. It's in the link in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.